Judging how things are right now, I wouldn't be surprised, Juff said, fixing his glasses. W what do you mean by that? Chris asked. They passed down the thin shades of withered branches. The bubble monkey had now climbed the trees to hop from branch to branch. The world has gone mad, apparently. Animals have turned hostile, while other unspeakable events have occurred all over Eagle Land itself, the blonde said, his glasses shining a bit. Neighborhood dogs have attacked people, the possibility of there being zombies has actually been proven, and inanimate objects somehow become mobile and turn against their owners. Owners. That is, Lucario trailed off. Only then he felt the aura around them wasn't normal. He looked cautious, feeling an extremely stagnant presence covering the land. He was busy trying to comprehend their initial shock of having traveled the universes, universes, but then he felt it clearly. Not controlling his own nature as a proud fighter, Lucario growled. Hmm? Juff looked up to the towering Lucario. Hey, why are you growling all of a sudden? The Aura Pokemon thought it was fine to say it, even if Chris was giving him a wor worried look. The entire land! It's been corrupted! Lucario said. Out of instinct, he pulled Chris close to him. To Juff's surprise, Lucario glowed with potent aura, his eyes turning yellow. Through his eyes, he saw that the snowy land looked entirely different from its rather pacific environment. Again, I... Everything, including the withered trees, was coated in a reddish aura that usually twisted itself in random spots. Widening his eyes, he sensed that the reddish aura seemed to be trying to strike them down by passing through their bodies, but they were unaffected by it. I... Juff trailed off, fixing his glasses. I don't know how you can glow like that. While Lucario was busy growling and inspecting the surface area, Chris decided to speak next. Lucario not only is a very strong fighter, but he has the ability to sense auras, he explained. I'm guessing he just found a, a malevolent aura, right, Lucario? Yes, Lucario said. The land, all of it, is covered in a red aura trying to take over everything, and us, too. What in the world? Jeff muttered. A red aura covering the land? And us? Huh. I've read a little bit about the supernatural force known as auras, but this is kind of incredible. Lucario stopped gr gl 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 Lucario stopped glowing, his eyes turning back to red. Fortunately, the red aura can't even do anything to us. It's desperately trying to consume us whole, but to no avail. Even without glowing, Lucario could tell at first glance that the red aura was particularly trying its best to strike Juff down. Juff, it wants to take you down the most of any of us for. That is what I believe. Juff shivered a bit at the thought. He really believed that the Aura Pokemon wasn't lying since he glowed with Aura. W w w well, I don't feel inherently evil or anything. I'm not even feeling anything wrong with me, he said. If that's all true then, this Paula might be telling the truth. Perhaps we're all immune to it, Lucario said. It's so annoying. I can't shake off that feeling, but my aura is repelling it. Thanks for the little heads up, Juff said. <laughs> I, I, I don't, I don't really understand what, what any of this means, but uh, you know, I'll just, I'll just go along with it. Uh, suddenly, Lucario felt that the red aura was gathering into a single point. Looking ahead of them, he spotted a goat eating some grass intact from the snow. Intact from the snow. It then rose its head up and stared at their way with deadpan eyes. Beware, Lucario warned them. The red aura just took over that animal over there. That, that goat? Juff asked. The, groan, the goat grunted loudly and charged at them. Oh no, that news report about angered animals on Fox News turned out to be true. Here it comes. Chris panicked. How in the hell should I even fight it? Before Lucario could tell him to fall back. Jeff, Juff, fuck, Juff tossed him a second pop gun. What the? I found a spare pop gun, Juff said. Use that to defend yourself. Oh, it's a, oh no, it's a, f okay, we got a fight scene going on here. Gruff Goat, um, Jeff, Chris, Lucario, 
48, 79, 489. I, I'm assuming those are health points, but I don't know, I've never played Earthbound. Uh, there was absolutely no explanation to what had just happened, apart from the fact that Lucario just told you what had just happened. But Chris and Lucario felt that they had been dragged off somewhere else. They could see the snowy plains, but oh, okay, never mind. But there was a part of them that had been ripped off from existence itself. Looking at Juff, the blonde boy seemed unfazed. What is this weird feeling? Lucario asked, mildly horrified. I, I don't know, Chris said disturbed, but, but let's not think about that for now. We've got a gruff goat to fight. Yeah, yes, Lucario said, his fists flaring up with aura. Gruff goat stomps on Juff. <laughs> that should be a, like a newspaper headline. There was simply no way for the duo to stop the goat from stomping on Juff's frail body. <laughs> Fucking brittle bone disease ass motherfucker. Lucario was completely baffled by how he was able to run. Juff receives eight damage. H Holy crap, Juff, Chris said, seeing the gruff goat stepping back. Jeff whimpered a bit. I regret not taking PE class, he trailed off. But even then he picked himself up and shot and shot the gruff goat. Jeff attacks. Gruff Goat re Juff attacks. Fuck. R Gruff Goat receives 18 HP of damage. D did it just stand there to receive the hit? Chris asked, shaking his head in bewilderment. Oh, screw this! Chris defends. L all yours, Lucario, Chris said. He was actually crouching down, his arms covering his head. The Bubble Monkey so casually landed on him and spat on the goat. Bubble Monkey spits in Gruff Goat's eyes. Gruff Coat, it's a Gruff Coat now, I guess, uh, receives 12 HP of damage. Juff stared at the whimpering goat, helplessly trying to shake off the spit in its eyes. I cannot fathom how it's spitting on its eyes is really damaging, he said. M maybe the Gruff Coat is, is what they're going to turn the goat into after they've killed him. You know, they're going to skin him, you know, uh, you know, tan it and make it into a nice coat. That, that should be a... That'd uh, be a uh, really, really, uh, really um, nice, and it would be the, a valid explanation for why its name just just suddenly changes. It, it, that, that I think that explanation makes a lot more sense uh, than the fact that Aura Channel or Chris just made a bit of a typo there. No, I think that's totally intentional, as it happens. And if you disagree, well, then you can just go to hell, really. J Juff stared at the whimpering. Oh yeah, I already, I already read that line. Lucario attacks. Gruff Goat receives 1,098 dam HP of damage. Actually, its head just blasted off into the sky. You win. Okay, you know what? Credit where credit's due. That was pretty funny. Yeah, no. Yeah. I, I, I smiled at that aura channel, Chris. That was pretty good. J Juff and company receive 20 EXP points. Juff's level goes up by 2. HP goes up by 4. Offense goes up by 2. Defense goes up by 1. Speed goes up by 3. Oh baby! Guts goes up by 5. Luck goes up by 1. Vitality goes up by 3. Oh baby! IQ goes up 6. What? To say the least, the world seems to... Why, do we really need to know all those stats? This is going to be exhaustive. To say the least, the world seemed to go back to normal to the newcomers, but that didn't stop them from seeing the brutal hit Lucario had delivered to the goat. What lay down in front of Lucario was the corpse of the goat, with a missing head having blasted off high into the sky, leaving a trail of blood behind as it disappeared far away from the naked eye. You got a, you got a vicious streak in you, Aura Channeler Chris. First with a shooting themselves in the head mentally, you know, punching themselves, and now a goat fucking bleeding everywhere. Oh, and, uh, yeah, what was it? <laughs> um, Pichu getting blown away and, uh, Roy getting cleaved in half last chapter. You know. <laughs> Trail of blood. J Juff, Chris, and the Bubble Monkey all turned a sickening shade of blue, a feat Chris knew was impossible in the real world. Shaking his head, Juff uttered, M my word, sorry, M my word, and dove behind a tree to puke. Chris felt an extreme case of vertigo and shivered at the morbid scene. The bubble monkey swallowed his gum by accident, staring with great horror at the bleeding corpse. <laughs> it took a few seconds for the serious Lucario, his flaring fist still stretched, to digest what he had done. And also the goat's heart, I imagine. He probably digested that too. He looked down and gasped, pulling back his fist and stepping back from the corpse. Ah! Lucario tr wisely trailed off. <laughs>